our most valued student my name is confident welcome to our quick revision session and this is a grade 12 um, revision session and in this case I want to show you how you can evaluate this summation problem it says here I took it from a previous question paper it says evaluate uh, this particular um, summation problem and as I said this is for grade 12 and um, time and again they bring such questions and they find that they've got good marks two I mean three to four marks at times and I'm going to produce a full session on the evaluation of these summation problems but for this one I just wanted to give you a quick one to say what do you do when you're given this particular problem so you are given that um, the summation is from n is equal to 1 to 20 and you're supposed to solve 3 n minus 2 so if I can just write that to say this is what you're given so it's from n is equal to 1 and you've got 3 to the power n minus 2 so you're supposed to evaluate or solve this so what you have to do uh, the first thing that you need to do is to find the first two three i mean the first three or so items so in other ways here what you are having you find your t1 you find your t2 you find your t3 and maybe the fourth term if you, if you can so let's start with the t1 now your t1 is when n is equal to 1 so in this case you'll be having 3 now you say as, you, as i'm saying n is 1 so where there's n you say 1 minus 2 remember it's summation it's plus three now from n is equal to one you've got n is equal to two so it's two minus two plus three now n is three it's three minus two plus three n is four it's four minus two and so on and so on then you can simplify this to say three one minus two i think is three to the power negative one but if you use a calculator there, I think it will give you a uh, 3 to the exponent 1 minus 2. It will give you 1 over 3. So I think the best way is to write it as 1 over 3. So you've got 1 over 3 plus uh, 3 to the power 2 minus 2, which is 3 to the power of 0. But I mean, just use a calculator quickly so that it can just give you answers straight away so if I can use a calculator on this one so it will be um, 3 to the power in this case as I say it is 2 minus 2 see to give me 1 cos 3 to the power 0 the other one is 3 to the power 3 minus 2 is 3 the other one it's 4 minus 2 it's 9 so what I have here I have got 3 to the power in here I've got 1 plus the other one was 3 to the power which is 3 the other one was 9 and so on and so on so these are the have this is what i'm having as my t1 my t2 my t3 and my t4 so now with these i think when you are working with uh some series there are two types that actually there are three types your mind must be in three um three things that you must be thinking about the first one remember you've got a quadratic pattern then the second one you have got an arithmetic and the third one you have got a geometric so you need to find ask yourself to say whenever you're dealing with these which one does it likely look like to be so when you're dealing with powers you are dealing with geometric sequences so the first thing to test on is to test is this uh, following a geometric sequence if it is following a geometric sequence then you don't have to worry about the other two but how do you know that it follows a geometric sequence you do the first to test whether it's a geometric sequence which says t2 over t1 just to use maybe a different pen to 
test whether something is a geometric sequence or pattern you are testing the common ratio r in this case your r here is equal to t2 over t1 which is equal to t3 over t2 if it meets these conditions then it means it is a geometric uh, uh, pattern or sequence so r is equal to now my t2 in this case is 1 over my t1 is 1 over 3 which is equal to t3 which is 3 over t2 which is 1 so let me test that and see what it is giving me so it will give me also as i said my common ratio so 1 over 1 over 3 if i use a calculator then to to, to find uh, that part i will have as i'm saying 1 over fraction is 1 over 3 you can see i'm getting a 3 and 3 over 1 is a 3 so 3 is equal to 3 so i mean the common ratio in this case you can see that it meets the condition of a geometric uh, series so this r is equal to 3 so which means this is a geometric series because it give me r is equal to 3 now once i know that it is a geometric series i go to my formulas to be given your information sheet and you go and look under the geometric series what is it that you know now you see this is arithmetic now the geometric one is these formulas so this is what you're given under the geometric sequence and from these formulas you ask yourself what does this sign represent this sign represent the summation sign so from these formulas you can see that this is the formula that you're interested in because it's sn for the summation which is what you need to write down so you will have then this formula here to say sn Um, if I can write down now, Sn is equal to A Rn minus 1 over R minus 1. Just to check again, A Rn minus 1 over R. So this is what you're given as the summation sign. Now, first things now, you need to find your N. And in this case, remember how to find N. N is equal to top minus bottom plus one what am i talking about so we are saying n is this top minus this bottom plus one so it's 20 minus one plus one so that is what we're going to have which is 20 minus one plus one it will give us a uh, 20 so that's what we have for our n in this case n is equal to 20. so now if we use then the information we're given you have your s 20 is equal to a which is our first term and we did our first term there you see that is your t1 which is your a so that's your a here a is equal to 1 over 3 see that information you're doing there is what you're getting 1 over 3 r we just got our r to be 3 which is 3 to the power n which is 20 minus 1 over r which is 3 minus 1 and then you get your answer there from this to say um, fraction you've got another fraction is 1 over 3 and then you put a bracket to say 3 to the power of 20 and then you've got minus 1 you close that bracket over 3 minus 1 so that's what you're having there to say the sum of that and let me see if i'm doing the right thing here um a is uh, a bracket let me just see if also everything is what i put so sn is equal to a and my a i say it is one over three and the common ratio we say it is 3 to the power sum of 20 times which is 20 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 so that's what i'm having and it's giving me 5 that big number 
and then it's a very big number there if I can put it in scientific notation just shift mode and seven to two decimal places actually uh, to three decimal places shift setup uh, seven and three decimal places is 5.81 times 10 to the power of 8 so that's what I have is 5.81 times 10 to the power of 8 so this is how I would have solved this kind of problem you can write that whole answer is still fine but this is what you mean when they say uh, evaluate such a given problem here that is how you can evaluate it and as i said i'm going to give a full session now of evaluating different versions of these because these are very important i mean this can be four to five marks and i will i don't want you to lose your marks in a final exam on such simplified problems though they come as if they are difficult we've come to the end of our session thank you